Hello, hello, and welcome, Andrew from the Cool Dog Channel. We are continuing in the new hideout mm, with the main storyline for now, for as long as we don't have any other activities. For example, a nice side quest. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip Ran the duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. Couple of Cursed Breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. With that Welcome back, Sid. Damn blighty bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. Suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain.
We have got our, got ourselves a side quest, but I don't think that this will be a high reward um, type of uh, quest. I highly doubt so, but might be I might be wrong. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. <sighs> Can't imagine Herbalist needing any more than this. Time to head home. Now let's travel to the Martha's rest. Mm, I hope that she's not dead. I kind of liked her. Maybe not as much as I liked Sid, but I liked her. I liked what uh, what she's doing, how she's helping the, uh, the branded. But something wrong happened here. Let's get you to physically be joy. Sorry. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You uh could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to come from higher up. Eh? Who are uh, these knights, warriors, troops, who has done this? And uh, what will happen in the, the chapel, the abbey? Arthur, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened! The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. 
when the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields? Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. There are dead corpses lying all over the place. I will save this. God knows what's gonna happen. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. <laughs> Oh, these kinds of people do not deserve to be spared, I think. I know it's not humanitarian, but... But come on! How can you kill others? Just because they were branded? No, it cannot be, it shouldn't be. Where's the last one? Yep, that's all of them. Give me my reward and let's forget about those bastards. Is that all of them? I think so. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. 
Clive. He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved. Unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid. And tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Jim! Where are you? Jim! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. How's this? Ariman, rank C, what? Oh, the hunt! Oh. You know what? I. Well, a few episodes before I was speaking about. Um, hunts in the other. Other parts of the game. Whoa, this guy is weird. He is doing a few really weird things.
I barely took even a pinch of his health. What the fuck? You will stagger me instead of me staggering you? See that coming. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right.
Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be nearby. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Oh, poor Martha, poor priest. Oh. Ah. Let's save and go outside and see what can be done. I don't know why uh, the game skipped uh, up. I don't know whether it's two seconds of, of the recording. Maybe more. Then the two seconds because it out outplayed or it didn't record the um, me speaking with the guy with the chocobo about the side quest. This is I think a weird side quest because it has a plus icon. Nah, there were no other quests with the plus icon before. So that might be something, you know, something worth checking. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. They're in trouble. We got you coronet feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business, but I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh, and why's that, eh? 
because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? That scar. It couldn't be. It is you. You survived. And you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he isn't over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And 
not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or summit? Well, I... Uh, <clears throat> oh no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Ha 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 I've got a chocobo bo bo looking so dope looking so dope 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 awesomely awesome I can't stress this enough but the movement was a drag here but but remember, oh fuck, I thought I'm gonna be able to sprint on water, you know, as in the Final Fantasy VII, when you had the highest chocobo, the golden chocobo, you were able <coughs> to move, <coughs> oh, excuse me, to move freely throughout the map, 
and to gather things that were the best and the greatest in the, in the game, like Knights of the Round Materia. Uh, okay, we've traveled uh, with the Chocobos, it's fun, it's nice, but I think it's time to end this episode, but firstly let's uh, give uh, our second side quest to the guy with the boat. Mm. This will not be a great reward. Not as great as in the other side quest with the Chocobo, because I think that's nice, really nice. The new way of transportation is always something good and something big. So, I will just give him this and finish. Thank you. Oh. Did you find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo. Argo. So your boat has a name. Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. <laughs> 